and I'm going to get a test of your voice level. I'm recording now. Uh, testing one, two, three, testing. All right, if you could just tell me your name and title, please. Okay, it's Renee Buffalis, and I'm a FEMA Public Information Officer. Great. Tropical Storm Debbie rolled through a few weeks ago, and where where was the, the damage the worst in this area, and where are people still trying to recover? We've had damages all, all the way up the, the west coast and even over into the Jacksonville area, but in this particular area, you have, um, right now, we have about six counties that have been declared for federal disaster assistance. Um, there are Hillsboro, Manatee, Pasco, Pinellas, uh, Highlands, and Hernando counties. So uh, folks within those communities need to uh, register with FEMA to make sure that they are eligible for assistance um, if they've received damages. And what's the best way to do that? They can call our 1-800-621-3362 number. Uh, there are operators there seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Or they can go online to www.disasterassistance.gov. Um, those, obviously, uh, they can do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week as well. There are some disaster assistance locations in some of the counties for people who want to come in and, and get, get help. Where can they go? There are four counties within this area uh, that have disaster recovery centers that we've established uh, as a state FEMA disaster recovery centers. Um, there is uh, Pasco, Pinellas, uh, Highlands, and Hernando uh, are the four counties. Um, and the locations for those are in Pasco, it's at 4444 Grand Boulevard, and that's in uh, Newport Ritchie. And Pinellas, it's at 5851 Park Boulevard, and that's in Pinellas Park. Hernando, 800 Gary Grubbs Boulevard, and that's in Brooksville. And in Highlands County, it's 4509 South George Boulevard in Sebring. And those are open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. seven days a week. People can go there. What kind of help can they get? Well, if you have um, registered with FEMA, and they'll give you a nine-digit registration number when you first get registered. Um, and you take that information with you down to the, register, to the uh, disaster recovery centers. We have representatives there from FEMA, from the State Emergency Management Office, um, from our partner agency, which is the Small Business Administration, um, as well as voluntary organizations. Um, they can take their material down there if they've received a letter from FEMA, a determination letter from FEMA, and they have questions about that letter. They can take that down there. They can also go with their registration number and uh, talk to the folks. They'll be able to pull them up in the system, find out what the status of their claim is. Um, also, when they register with FEMA, they'll have an inspector come out within a 10-day period to look at your property damages, to um, document the damages, and send that information back to FEMA. Um, if, you're, if you haven't heard back concerning that, you can go in there and talk to our representatives and they can find out sort of what the status of your claim is. And then if you, you know, have additional questions on what type of assistance you might be able to receive, or if you get something from the Small Business Administration for a loan application and you need to fill that out, come in, talk to them. They can help you in that process as well, help you fill out that information. Um, the types of things that you might be able to receive from us could be if you've had to move out of your home because of the damages and you're having to live in a temporary uh, housing, we might be able to help you with some of the costs related to that. Um, if you've had medical expenses due to the storm, that those kind of things can also, you can also be assisted with that. Um, if you've had property damages that may not be covered by your insurance, um, again, those, those are the types of things, essential um, items that may not be covered by insurance that you need to purchase uh, to be able to get yourself back on your feet again. Um, we might help you with that in the way of a grant. Now, on the other hand, the Small Business Administration is there to help meet that gap that you may have with insurance. If you have insurance, contact your insurance company immediately. But we also need you to register with FEMA because if your insurance doesn't cover all of your damages, then you might be able to be eligible for a Small Business Administration Low Interest Disaster Assistance Loan. And that is for homeowners, renters, um, some nonprofits, and also businesses. So it just doesn't apply to businesses, which a lot of people think that's the case. So um, we really encourage you, um, if you have insurance, please register with us as well. 
Those are my only questions. Is there anything else our listeners should know? Well, the only other thing is if, if you have received a determination letter from FEMA and um, it may say that you are not eligible for assistance, we really want folks to read those letters completely because sometimes it only means that we're either waiting for insurance companies to come through because we can't duplicate what your insurance companies cover or you may not have filled out the information correctly or we may not have all the information that we need. So make sure that you read it thoroughly. If you have questions about that letter, bring it into one of our recovery centers and our folks there can actually help you write an appeal letter. You have 60 days to appeal that determination. So come in, talk to our folks while they're here in town. Make sure that you know you have all the things that are, that are available to you, that you take advantage of them while they're here. We also have uh, community relations teams that are working in all of these counties, going door to door, talking to residents, finding out um, what their situation is, what their needs are. So if someone comes to the door with the, as a FEMA representative, um, you will have an ID badge, you will have our FEMA shirts on, and uh, we wanna make sure that uh, you, know, you know that we're there to, to assist you in, in the next steps of your recovery. Great, thanks so much for speaking with me today. Thank you so much for having me. Perfect, thank you very much.